That's good. <clears throat> Rolled out the welcome wagon. Gotta say, I can't help but wonder if this is a lost cause. Well, you know, some lost causes are worth fighting for. Let's just think this through. So, I got an idea. Frontal assault, guns blazing. Make for a good story. Why'd we bring you along again? <laughs> Rear entrance. We'll get inside via the parking garage. Security is looking pretty tight. Huh. So they know what they're up against. Somehow I don't think it's all for us. Could be for Avalanche. Or maybe even Wu Tai. Can't be for Wu Tai. What about the ceasefire? That only put the war on pause. Here to rescue Aerith, remember? We don't need more attention than what we're gonna get. We need to be smart. Yeah, I hear you. But my soul's screaming for payback, you know? I'm a ticking time bomb. And sooner or later, I'm gonna have to blow up. Well, then make it later. One there. That's a Shinra truck, isn't it? Come on. Huh? <sighs> How's it looking out there? Anything? Nah. All clear. Roger. Okay, head on in. <sighs> so far, so good. <laughs> What's going on? 
Bring it on! The idea was to not get noticed. Stealth ain't my style. You never planned to be stealthy in the first place. Don't remember. Maybe, maybe not. Let's keep moving. Should be a service entrance in the back. What's the situation? Can't get in contact with HQ. Did they do this? No idea. Move aside. On you. I got this. Call it fire. Let's make it hot. Hey, I'll be keeping it. Getting really sleepy. Uh, let's kick it up with that.
Nobody's home. Yeah. Do you have any idea where they might be holding Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. That'd make the most sense. And where is that? Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. Maybe. Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. This building's incredible. <laughs> a shining monument to corporate greed. One of these days I'm going to tear it down. Burn the rubble. But not today. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't think we should try touching it. Shit, making life hard. Let's just keep heading up. So, how do we get upstairs? Either the elevator, or the emergency stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? I vote we take the elevator. Upstairs without a key card, huh? Think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Oh, the reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Go up and over, maybe? Look. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. I don't know. I think I'll give it a shot. Huh? As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. <clears throat> okay, guys. Wish me luck. You be careful. <clears throat> Aren't I always? T 
Tifa! Oh shit! Tifa! Are you okay? I thought I was dead for sure. Hand over hand, huh? That's fine. Bring it on. now. Just need to make it over there. Almost there. 
just need to get across those platforms. <laughs> Some fine work. Uh, I might be able to disable security from here. Huh? Ha! Hot damn, girl. But I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. So you can use that to look up what floor the research facility's on. I think so. Give me a sec. <sighs> Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor looks like. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is, then. Mm -hmm. Right. less likely to get caught this way. But a lot more likely to die of boredom. It's only 59 floors. Nothing to it. Well, at least it ain't a race. Small blessing. More security and restrictions. It's not gonna get any easier. We're gonna be exhausted by the time we finally get to the top. As long as you pace yourself, you'll be fine. Maybe we should take a quick break. Come on, Barrett. You can stop if you want. You can even say it's for me. Just say you can't hack it. I'll hack you, jackass! Oh, that's enough from both of you. Stupid arguments aren't gonna get us there faster. But Tifa, I wasn't... Not now. Save it for the top. Hey, 
just a few floors behind you. <laughs> oh? You're sounding better. Yeah. Think I've got, like, a stair climber's high. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Tired? I was. But I'm feeling okay now. Ben, what are we waiting for? Let's roll! You really are doing better. We we gotta keep moving. <laughs> to keep moving. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Hard to argue with that. Let's go. Tell me, these stairs, are these stairs ever gonna end? I don't know. Half the stairs. I don't think the stairs are talking. Well, duh. I'm... Duh. I was... Joking. That's enough from both of you. Last day. At least, at least, at least that'd have an end. Let's shut up. Yes, let's. Why? Because wishing for trouble might bring it. Yep. And you're in your state to fight anyway. What should I do? Shut up and move. Another day, another struggle. Climbing stairs, so much trouble. Cloud, 
Slow down. Seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred percent, one hundred ten. Mako supersaturation confirmed. <laughs> Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. <laughs> Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. Registering mass increase in core materia. Registered. We're leaving. Materia growth accelerating, outpacing models. Registering crystallization within the reserve tanks. The reaction is out of control. We have to stop it quickly. Clean up the mess, would you? Yeah. So this is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune and then some. Let's look for reception. Check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. Damn fools. Hmm? Want to come here at night to take in the view. So pretty and marvelous and beautiful. But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <sighs> yeah. Terrible but beautiful all the same. Tour. Visitors have access to floors 60, 61, 62, as well as floor 63. You will proceed in that order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the keycard in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why is this whole thing gotta be such a big pain in the ass? I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Ha! <laughs> if it is, then bring it on! Let's get this party started! Anywhere. This is Shinra HQ. Now, how did you expect? Says the former company man himself. 
Guess you'd know about all the rules, regulations, and red tape. It's like coming home, huh? Yes, every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, sir. No, it's fine. I've brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. <sighs> Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director, I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it. president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company. And of course, the city of Midgar, and the miracle of Mako Energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah, yeah, shut up! I think I just threw up a little. Man thinks very highly of himself. teach you about the important work we do here by giving you a closer look at each of our divisions. I hope you're ready to be amazed because you simply won't believe all the exciting adventures we have here. These all look so familiar. Because we've destroyed a bunch of them already. that are produced to benefit us all. Here at Shinra, we strive to ensure the safety of all residents around the clock. Come on. 
The next exhibit will teach you all about the miracle of Mako energy and our reactors, as well as the city of Midgar itself. So come on! This is Midgar, our home, recreated in one ten thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. The Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies! Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into their bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. Congratulations! You can call yourself a proud Shinra scholar! Now, moving along, next you'll learn about our progress in advanced science and technology. Please proceed to the 61st floor, the Visual Entertainment Hall. Welcome to the Visual Entertainment Hall, where we showcase Shinra's cutting-edge technology. Through an immersive visual and audio experience, please relax and enjoy the show. This place is empty. To the hell? Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. And once they had, the ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Their scripture, too, has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. 2,000 years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. <laughs> but before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we have harnessed the power of Mako. <laughs> Are they out there watching us, waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world? A green and verdant land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land.
we shall not rest until our dream is realized. Oh dear, a man of my refined taste running out of butter. <laughs> Short of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> have been crazy ass thing made me want to puke and not just because of the presentation but the content too ought to come with a warning that ain't for kids that wasn't just a movie that huge meteor what was that about like i said nothing you should show a kid Shinra's expertise and know-how. Please make your way to the 62nd floor, the corporate archive. What the? <sighs> Greetings and welcome, Avalanche, I presume. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. <sighs> I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. The mayor of Midgar? The empty soup that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yes. The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built. That Mayor Domino. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. Guess we're supposed to follow. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm?
through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man, you hear? This can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. <gasps> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. Huh? I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. You hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. <laughs> we need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the President's gonna get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. <sighs> well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great! So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up! You're telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Uh... Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Uh... Uh... Just say, Mayor, to the guy, and if he goes, the best, with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? If you require additional assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. So can you tell us anything about this collaborator? Certainly I could do just that, but a man in my position must conduct his affairs with discretion. Which is to say that that which has been requested cannot be freely given, if you take my meaning. You want money! Disclosing confidential information entails considerable risk. Due compensation is to be expected. 
In this particular instance, that would amount to 10,000 gil. Rip us off more, why don't you? Do feel free to come again at any time. I still can't believe the mayor is working with Avalanche. Would have been nice to know. Idiot today's Q should have kept us in the loop. So, about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed, so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work, my dear. You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear, Ifalna was elegant. <laughs> and there it is, that same elegance. Oh, yes, time for yet another meeting. Sit tight, I won't be long. Here's the 63rd floor, where loyal Shinra employees relax and recharge. It's pretty late, but I bet people are still here dealing with the aftermath of Sector 7. It's their own damn fault. Stay focused. We need to find this guy. Yeah, yeah. Guess I better get working on my conversation skills. They look busy. The plate did just fall. <laughs> What kind of particulars in the air? Seeing them like this somehow makes me feel a little bit better. The support is getting overwhelmed by calls. We'll have to resort to AI operators. Let's find our contact. Not seeing any security around. One less thing to worry about. Talking to people who look the part. Remember, you say mayor. If they say the best, then we have a winner. The hell's that? Combat sim. You can use it to train for battle in a virtual space. Does training in that thing really make you better? You work here? I don't recognize you. Can I help you with something? The mayor. Is the best. 
I was told to expect you. you. Need access to upper floors, right? That's right. Before I trust you with this key card, I need to see what you can actually do. Say what? Do you know what would happen if you got caught? We're putting our lives on the line here. Prove you're worth it. We have a state-of-the-art combat simulator. It can provide a real challenge, let me tell you. If you beat the sim, then the key card is all yours. Well, well. You gonna call it quits? I've seen enough. I'm a man of my word. Here, this key card will grant you access to the 64th floor. You can use the elevator to get there. Once you're up there, just what is it you plan on doing? We came to get one of our friends. She's being held in a research lab somewhere. A lab? Then she must be with Professor Hojo. It won't be easy to get to her. Access to R&D is limited to authorized personnel only. We'll find a way in. Know where we can find Hojo? 
A board meeting is scheduled to start soon. It's being held in the main conference room. President Shinra, Professor Hojo, and the other directors will be in attendance. Think they like surprises? We can even take the president as a hostage. Think of the leverage. Try it, and security will be on your asses in seconds. We need to find out what they're planning. So you want to spy on their meeting? Hmm. I have an idea. Head to the men's restroom. You can climb into the air ducts there. They go all the way to the conference room. Thanks for the tip. Cloud, I've been waiting for you. You haven't forgotten me, have you? I'm an intern in the R&D division here. I took the liberty of hacking into the executive's private network to monitor your progress through the building. I will support you in any way that I can. I sense a surge in trust. We should keep this brief to avoid suspicion. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. You're gonna train in the sim at a time like this? I wanna believe there's something you can do for them, but... Right? Oh. Holy shit! It's cool, bro. We went through training together. Damn. Oh. So you're still alive and kicking, huh? Some of the guys heard you got smoked, but I told them it was all bullshit. Hey, sit tight, man. I'm gonna go get Kunso. I'll be right back. Old buddy. You okay? Yeah. But you were just... I'm good. Let's keep moving. This is terrible. What do we do? Today we welcome a special guest, Shinra's Director of Public Security who has an important message to share with us. <clears throat> Everyone here at Shinra is deeply saddened and outraged by this unconscionable <laughs> act of terrorism. But at the same time, we will not be cowed by threats or violence. To the people of Midgar, I make this vow. We will find the villains responsible and bring them to justice. Are you listening, Avalanche? You cowardly dogs! Run all you like. Shinra is coming. Maybe war is inevitable. I trust the narrative is intact. Rock solid. The people have embraced the Wu-Tai Avalanche conspiracy wholeheartedly. I've almost come to believe it myself. Wu-Tai's response? So far, nothing. And if those cowards do react, all the better for us and our story. Very well. Then we shall stay the course. If I may, sir, there was one other matter. Oh? A message from our man, Palmer. Damn it. Barrett. Yeah, yeah, I know. We came here to save Barrett. 
That's our first priority. That's right. We only get one chance. Hojo should be at that board meeting, so that'll buy us some time. We need to plan this just right. Where he should be. What's the plan? Little bit of recon. Need to find a way to infiltrate that room. You hear the words coming out of your mouth. We just gotta find that bathroom so we can get into the air duct. Ask anyone here. They can point us in the right direction. No thanks. We can find it on our own. I'll wait out here. Huh? You can't hang out here. Tifa, it'd be better if you waited inside. Maybe, but this is... Oh, never mind. You're right. Oh, thank God. No one's in here. Love to show them what the ones down below look like. Come on. Let's just find that duct. Gotcha. <clears throat> Look, I'm on guard duty. Right. So, can I go with you? Don't want to be here any longer than I have to. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Just follow behind. I'm sure they're safe. But we live right by Sector 7, and I keep calling and calling, but I still can't get through. I heard that all the phone lines are down. It doesn't mean anything. You sure? Pretty sure. Depending on the board's decision, we may start two projects simultaneously, rebuilding the plate and the city. Members of the Urban Planning Division will likely take point on both. Director Tuesti has ordered teams to come up with three, five, and ten-year plans. Each team needs to come up with a detailed proposal and schedule. We're going to have to put a lot of man-hours into this, so we'll need to start ASAP. This it? I'm 
telling you I saw him. With my own eyes, sauntering down the corridor. We don't have time for this nonsense. Ah, he was as close to me as you are now. The, the shock of it made me spill my tea. Enough already. If there are intruders in the building, my men will deal with them. But, Mr. President, sir, I swear to you... Reeve. Sir, I have the damage assessment for Sector 7, and I'm afraid the figures are catastrophic. Spare us the doom and gloom. Uh, Was there anything else? Uh... Well, sir, I've also drafted a that reconstruction not plan for... Huh? Not with the Ancient in our custody once more. Uh, with respect, sir, Two I don't see words, how... words, Reeve. <sighs> Neo Midgar. <sighs> in their promised land... We will build a new Mako-powered metropolis. Mr. President, we still don't know for sure that the Promised Land even... <sighs> Professor Hojo. The test results were within expectations. The specimen is somewhat lacking compared to her pure-blood mother, but for our purposes, she should more than suffice. So she can lead us to the Promised Land? Well, Mr. President, that remains to be seen. I would like your permission to secure her cooperation through more forceful means. Forceful, yet gentle. She is a precious resource that must be handled with care. Personally, I've never had a problem with torture. My armory is at your disposal, should you require anything. I had something more psychological in mind. Better to scar the psyche. That mar the flesh. <laughs> Proceed as you see fit. However, you will not make the same mistake twice. Is that clear? If I may, Mr. President, I have an idea how we might mitigate the risks. Simply put, we could have the ancient reproduce. In the absence of a second specimen, we would need to identify an alternative mate. I would start with candidates from Soldier. These would, of course, include S and G types. Quite frankly, there's no telling what kind of properties a crossbred specimen might possess. So, what say you all? <sighs> hmm. <sighs> If there is nothing else... Mr. President! Meeting adjourned. Uh, <laughs> please, sir! Something stinks. Anything? The man in the lab coat. Head of R&D. We follow him. Okay. And then we kill the son of a bitch. Not until he's led us to Aerith. That's the plan. I should like to meet their offspring. Ah, uh, but that can wait. 
first, we must have answers. A simple psychoactive agent should suffice. Nothing likely to cause any long-term damage. <laughs> Let's go. Right. <clears throat> Don't move. Hmm. I ain't bluffing. What is this? A dozen bullets in your head, unless you open that door right now. You must be the ones who've been stirring up trouble lately. The eco-terrorists? Hmm. If so, I can't imagine what business you have with me. The President's upstairs. Go on, shoot! Shut up. Keep walking. None of y'all better move a muscle. Do stop pushing. Unlike you, I am less accustomed to physical violence. You'll get used to it. What is it that you want? Our friend. She's in your lab. Really? Tell us where Aerith is. Oh, so she's your friend. Well, well, well. In that case, yes, that might do the trick. Mind speaking up, son? It's nothing. Just imagining how she might react if I were to present to her your fresh corpses. <laughs> I promise, <laughs> you will regret this.
give up. Ain't dead yet. I'm 
You're up. Provided by my predictive models indicate that this force should be more than capable of handling you. Y'all about to learn predictable. We're taking Aerith back. Oh, take her back, you say? Correct me if I am wrong, but did the girl not come here of her own free will? Or do you mean to tell me that she is your personal property? She only came here to save Marlene! I'm afraid you misunderstand. <laughs> but I really can't be bothered to explain. This facility is home to extraordinary specimens that will change the world as we know it. Do try to be considerate. Fetch! Your models got it wrong. Yes, an unknown variable, perhaps. Well, no matter. Reinforcements will soon arrive. But will they get here in time to save you from me? Why are you a soldier? Yeah. Save it for later. 
allow me. a friend. So what the hell is it? A fascinating question. Oh, <laughs> did it just talk? You asked what it is. Hmm. I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. I'd appreciate it if we simply left it at that. Agreed? <sighs> Red 13. The designation given to me by Hojo. Then... you must have another name. What is it? We got away. So, we're gonna go get the son of a bitch.
You know, Reno, I think you might be due for some R&R. &R. Nah, I'm good. What are we going to do about Sector 7? <sighs> we are going to do nothing. Been thinking. Was all that necessary? Had we refused, someone else would have completed the task. We have spared that someone the burden of a guilty conscience. Perhaps that will ease yours. <sighs> yeah, nope. Let's try another tack then. They were a sacrifice to balance the scales. Say what? After everything we'd taken from the planet, we were due to give something back. Do you actually believe that? Does it matter? <clears throat> yes, understood. The VP needs us.